Funzies digs. I don't know why dogs dig. I guess they're bored. Uh, here are just a few examples of her work. Oh, oh yes. There, there. This one's a new one. That one just happened, oh. I don't know when, just the other day. Ah, okay. And it's, I That's mean, a good hole. Yeah. Funzies is a hunting breed. I mean, this, this dog is programmed to seek, go find, and to hunt animals, so she digs. And there are numerous holes in the lawn of where she does dig. Does she get walked? Every day, a dog walker comes and takes them uh, for <coughs> up between an hour and a half and three hours a day. They, they get lots of exercise. Lots of exercise. Funzies is a really challenging dog. To the 70 pound uh, bundle of barking and digging. Uh, and I love her to death, but she's just a little out of control. To get to the heart of the problem, Victoria brings Nicole and Funzies to a training center where working dogs learn search and rescue. I wanted to bring Nicole to see some really great search and rescue work here um, because I think it's something that she can do with Funzies. <laughs> Getting Funzies to search out toys and also to find people, I think would re really be a great thing for her to do. Why is it so important for people who own hunting breeds like the Catahoula to do this kind of thing with their dog at home? Um, it helps stimulate the dog in a productive way that its instincts and breeding and training has already kind of brought the dog, you know, so you can mold it and you can control it instead of the dog doing it in ways it wants to do it. <laughs> To channel Funzie's instincts in a better direction, Victoria starts teaching her to find a toy. And I'm going to show her where I hide it. Okay, Funzie, shh. Now, shh, go find it. Good girl. Good girl. The second part of this was to allow Funzies to see where I'd hidden the toy, but turn the barrel round so she actually didn't have a visual. The visual was cut off. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, go Tell find it. Good girl. Then I wanted to use the search and rescue part. Search and rescue was to go actually find a person. On the first try, Funzies gets to see where Nicole hides. Good girl. Good girl. Good, all right. Very good, girl. Awesome. Okay, now I want you to go hide the same place, but I'm not going to show her where you hide. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna tell her to go find you. She's such a good girl. All right, where's mama? Where's mama? Go find her. Good girl. Good girl, Funzies. Then we made it in a place where she hadn't hidden before. And now I'm telling her, oh, where's mama? Go find her. Go find her. We've always known uh, Funzies is incredibly bright. You know, she it just, she figures things out really quickly. So we just didn't really know how to channel it. This seems like a really great sort of thing where she gets to exercise, but mostly her brain, which is, I think, really exciting. <gasps> Good girl! Lovely. Though. When she finds Nicole, Funzies is rewarded with the toy and a game of tug. Hide and seek, go find, fantastic games. And I really believe if you've got a breed like that, do what your breed is programmed to do. You don't have to hunt animals. You can play games like this in the backyard. For the next few days, the couple will continue training on their own. But before Victoria leaves, she's got a parting gift for Funzies. I have some seek and go find toys for Funzies. For funzies. Have that one on one important time with Funzies, okay? okay. So there you go. Thank There's, you. Thank you. There's some toys. Hi, guys. Best of luck, all right? Thank you. Thank you. It's been a real pleasure. Nice to meet you. It's been a real Thank pleasure. Thank you so much, Victoria. You are very welcome. All right, guys. Thank you. Bye. Say bye. I'd love Victoria to live in, in the guest house forever and just constantly train the dogs. That would be fabulous. But I know she has other families to move on to and other dogs to fix. So we feel really, really lucky to have had her in our house. Later on in the week, Victoria checks in on the progress of the training. Funzie, Funz, Funzies, hey. Funzies, come here. Want to play the toy? While Paco's making great strides, Funzies has proven harder to motivate. Get the toy. Get the toy. Get it. Get the toy. Where's the toy, Funz? Where is it? Where's the toy? Get it. Get the toy. Get the toy. Get the toy. Where is it? Huh? Funzie. You're cold. It's not long before Funzies loses interest in the game. And so do Nicole and Jason. She just doesn't seem to care. Yeah. 
Oh no, you've got to keep funsies motivated and focused. You can't give up. Victoria is returning to help Nicole and Jason sort out where they've been going wrong. Wow. Oh, DoorDash. Dog's coming to greet me. Dogs will be happy to see you. Hi. Guys, oh, come on in. Have a here. seat. Thank you. Everybody is very chilled out. Yes. And relaxed. They don't have wow. a lot of worries in their lives. They don't, do yeah, they? Everything's Hi, okay for them. I've seen some things have gone well, some things have gone not so well. Nicole and Jason were getting a bit frustrated with the search and retrieve training. But I think it's just because Funzies didn't have that much of a motivator. So I wanted to up the motivator by putting duck scent on the duck. Yeah, it would never be something I would have looked into. <laughs> I'm gonna rub it in, because I don't want to touch it myself. <laughs> Funzies. Victoria lets Funzies get a good sniff, then hides the toy where she can see it. With the leash, you're gonna go along with her. Tell her to go find. Go find. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Now, to really put Funzie's nose to the test, Victoria puts some scent on the ground and then hides the toy out of sight. Then I'm gonna hide it here. Let's see if she can find. Go find. Go find. Go find. Go find. She can smell it. She can smell it. She can smell it. There you go. Good, Good girl. girl. Good girl. But Funzies isn't fooled at all. Funzies needs this kind of mental stimulation. She needs to do what she was bred to do. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.